Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Cooperative in Orem. <laughs> they have great stuff. <laughs> Unpaid. Unluckily. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working. <laughs> Next one, hopefully, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hey, Aspers, thank you for your time. Um, the, the team obviously had a very good game today, a lot of open spaces, um, and then that, that six-minute stretch where the team just started scoring goals. Um, what do you feel like contributed most to the success of the team tonight? Um, I feel like for us it's, it's more about, and that's what we talked about the last couple of weeks, uh, we have to get used to playing a good 90 minutes, not just a good 45. I mean, still, this first half was, was probably really, really good. Uh, it's unlucky that we can see that goal, that we don't score two or three. We had great chances as well in the first half. And I feel like, for me, uh, I really put myself into it right now just to keep everything as compact, as close as possible, talk to, talk to the guys around me, just be like, hey, heads up, like, we're going to stay in this game. Don't concede defense first, and then we're going to get our chances. Uh, the fans carried us through the game, so we know once – once that one goal falls, we know that we're gonna we're gonna score two or three more. Uh, that's what happened. Hope oh, took us like a couple couple chances, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I finally got got that off our chest a little bit, you know. And I feel like the confidence now is just a little bit back. You see guys flying around the field, um, taking people on one on one. The finishes are great. The service is great now. It's all the small details that was just missing over the last couple of weeks. Like we're still playing. Decent soccer, but the outcome was not there. And today, I just felt like we had that final bit, maybe a piece of luck as well. You know, it's always it's always in that game too. But uh, I just felt like the team did a really good job staying in that game as well, offensively as defensively, because uh, they had a couple of great chances as well after we scored the first or second one. Um, but yeah, I feel like just to stay in that game is part of my job to keep the lines connected, be motivational, and and just talk to the guys around me and keep pushing. You mentioned in the first half how the team went down 1-0 uh, and down 1-0 at halftime. And there was a lot of visible frustration, I think, from a lot of the guys on the field just with missing opportunities in the first half. But I want to ask you personally how good it feels to be able to, to finally get your first win with the team this season at home. Well, it's unbelievable, to be honest. Uh, it's, been, it's been a long time, honestly, um, and probably overdue as well because I feel like even though you have scores that look very clear on paper, the games don't feel that way. You you jump out of games and you 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 just sit back at home and be like, what just happened? Like how how could we how could we not get any points? How could we not score on this day? And I feel like this is just what we finally get this group together and be like, hey, like we knew that we had it, but now we finally could show it to everybody out there who was here tonight. Uh, that we have decent players out there, that we have great players out there who can, can contribute on both ends. So it's just really happy for the team that they showed up today and we got the three points. Thank you. Hey, Jasper. Um, so the game kind of changed at halftime. How do you feel like the team responded going into the, the second half? Um, I don't really think it changed that much, to be honest. Um, I mean, like, in the first half, it was more like a direct punch to punch kind of thing, like going our way, going their way. Uh, a lot of just like a tennis match kind of, I would say, you know, just like attack, from attack to attack. The second half was more like we try to control a little bit, little bit better. And obviously we had that that really high pressure phase in the first 10, 15 minutes where I was still, uh, yeah, very confused how we not could score like five or six goals. But um, yeah, I feel just like it just, comes together like to the mindset of the people and like we we just sat down at half time um and it's not much that needs to be said to be honest because everybody knows this this has to end today like there's not another chance that we go down at our at our home stadium uh obviously that that goal that they they show was wonderful strike honestly can't really do much about it uh it's just unlucky but he took it well. So it's just about the mentality piece to just stay in the game and, and come back out. And I feel like that's what has been lacking, for example, against St. Louis. Um, we had, I feel like we had a great half against St. Louis as well. And we're like maybe a little bit too 
chill on about it and be like, hey, like if we just keep like this, then we may score. But that's not how it works, you know. You have to be like, you gotta bring it to them even even more. So uh, yeah, I feel like that's what we did in the second half today. It was just the motivation piece from everybody in the locker room at halftime. Was like, come on, we need to be, we need to just be a little bit better, you know. It's not not crazy much better, you know. Like we didn't play bad, but like just that one final step. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. You mentioned that one of the things that you, that you mentioned to your teammates was to focus on defense first, and then hopefully the goals will come after. Um, you don't exclusively play defense, you're a midfielder, but um, is that something that you take a little bit more pride in and kind of find yourself um, carving out a little bit of a, of a role as more of a defensive-minded midfielder? I take pride in everything I do, kind of. Like, if I have a great defensive play, I take pride in that. If I have an offensive play, I take pride in that. I take pride in... And, and people scoring, I take pride in our defenders blocking shots. Uh, we had two or three really great defensive plays today. It wasn't me, uh, but I'm I'm really happy. You know, it's like I'm just happy to to be part of the team and help in situations, and the team can rely on me, kind of trust in me. We had a great uh, counter press situations where I saw the ball a couple of times, but like we couldn't couldn't capitulate on that as, at the end. But like I feel it's just like. Just so many things coming together and just being a part of it is just really, really, really nice. I just love that. Yeah, and then uh, how good did it feel to have your midfield partner, Pablo, kind of break that scoring drive and be the guy to, to open up I mean, uh, that, that run for you guys? I always make fun of him in practice because he always – he Pablo has a, an amazing left foot. I've never seen something like it. Like, his shooting technique is, is just incredible. But, like, in training, you always hit some, like, top bins and it's, like, it's just a natural thing. And then last season he scored like, well, he didn't score. That's the thing. He hit like 15 to post and crossbar. And I was telling him, just hit the net, please, just one time. And now uh, this time he he hit the crossbar, but also the net. So I was I was kind of relieved uh, that it bounced in from from the line to the net. But uh, yeah, shout out shout out to to that keeper as well. He was phenomenal. Uh, I know him from from Clemson. We played a couple of times against each other. Could be a little bit, yeah, but. <laughs> Today finally we got the upper hand on him, but uh, yeah, he was he was great. I mean, he saved a lot of, a lot of good shots and kept them in for for a very long time. So uh, yeah, well done. Dos cosas. Una, eh, saliste lesionado o no? No sé porque saliste un poco tocado. No sé si es preocupante o no o no es problema. Otra cosa. Te recomiendo que veas los, la, los 15 primeros minutos de la segunda mitad porque fueron impresionantes. Dice que para ti no había tanta diferencia, se jugó bien la primera parte, pero es que esos 15 minutos, pocas veces he visto un equipo jugar con esa intensidad como salieron ustedes. Y lo último, eh, te, ¿te ha sorprendido que, que Pablo confíe tanto en ti, incluso por delante de jugadores que en teoría podían ser uh, más titulares como Ojeda? I think the first question was if I'm injured. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go in bits. F first, um, were you hurt? Did you come out hurt or was it precautionary or anything if it seemed like you were hurt? Uh, it's kind of both. I was just like a little tight in my hips and I think it's just precautionary a little bit that uh, yeah, they take me out so nothing happens but uh, I think it's nothing that I should be too worried about. Uh, we have a whole week to recover from that. Just take all the necessary steps to recover, and then hopefully we'll be good. Second question was the first 15 minutes of the second half. I have a half. comment. Yeah. Um, I recommend you go back and watch the first 15 minutes of the second half because they were unbelievable. Yeah. I've never seen a team come out with so much intensity. Yeah. Um, I have to agree. Like, I feel the team just did a great job of riding that wave kind of into it, you know? Like, we... We're sitting in locker room and just having that pep talk kind of that we just go out there and, and keep pushing and we're gonna find the we're gonna find the goal at one point. And just everybody staying in there hitting the first, second, third goal, not letting letting go of anything. Like it was so intense, everybody was, was pressing high. You see you see Pablo running out for, for Savarino, Savarino coming back inside, you see Cello and Glad like throwing their bodies on the line, Vera as well. Uh, it's just it's just incredible to see. It's so much fun how when people like come together and just put everything into that one one moment into that game. It just makes you feel proud, kind of that they're your teammates and they play next to you. 
And then lastly, um, are you surprised at how much Pablo is putting trust in you, Ruiz? Pablo Ruiz? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if he puts that much trust in me. I feel like he could trust you a little bit more, to be honest. But um, no, me and Pablo have, have a great, great connection, I feel like. Because um, I... I take more, more like a defense role. Like I try to cover more ground because I feel like that Pablo, with his experience and his technical ability, is just better in the build-up. I'm more better in exploiting the spaces in between and cover the ground in there. So I feel like the mix that we two have is just very good. If he wants to go and attack, I'm more than happy to let him go so I can cover. Same for him as well. I think he trusts me, trusts me making the right decisions, and I just have to keep on building building on that trust as well, you know. Um, don't give him a reason not to trust me, not to play me the ball. Um, and yeah, therefore I'm really happy. I'm just happy we have that deep of a squad so we can all jump. Yeah, Pablo Mastroeni. Pablo Mastroeni? <laughs> yeah. And not Ruiz. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a good answer though. Thank but you. But it's okay, but it's okay. Yeah, I, it's a tricky. Cut, cut that out, please. <laughs> no, uh, Pablo Mastroeni. Um, do I take pride in that, or what was the question? No, I'm surprised at how much trust he's putting in you. Um, kind of, yeah. A little bit, I have to say. I'm not, I'm very happy about it, obviously. I have to be. And I feel like it's a great challenge every week to fight for that spot, because it's not a given, you know? I don't, I don't go in any training week and be like, oh, okay, I can like relax now, and like, because I have the spot, you know? It's always, you have so many great guys, uh, you have Diego who comes in in the middle as well. You have Ojeda, even Scott, who's like, I've never seen Scott turn over a ball. It's just like, what Pablo really believes in, I feel like just comes from here, really. Uh, it's my mindset, like what I can bring to the team. And I feel like I haven't done a great job of that in the first couple of games because I've maybe been too harsh on myself as well. I wanted to prove a little bit too much. But today was more just about, I enjoyed myself out there, you know. I was I felt like I was I was young again, like fourteen, fifteen, playing with my friends and just having fun and just wanna give it all into the pitch, you know, and whatever comes out comes out. And obviously today we just had a little bit more luck and we took the win. Anybody else for yeah. Jasper? Hey Jasper, congratulations. Just uh can you comment to us? There was a lot of pressure, frustration and so so many things. Now do you have any conversation, the team, in the locker room, what happened? The people wants to know how the people, I mean, the team reaction is after, you know, release all this frustration. You would have a conversation with somebody else or in a group. How, how the people, I mean, the team is feeling right now? I mean, like after the game, it's just a little bit of dancing going on with my Latin American friends. Uh, <laughs> And just putting on some beats. No, everybody is, is, is happy, obviously, you know. That's, it was a lot of pressure on us, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it's never nice to go into a season and, like, have that losing streak, kind of, you know. Uh, not particular because you play that bad, but, like, just uh, something is missing, you know. So you're, like, trying to get the hang of what it is, you know. And so I feel like we... We owe ourselves that we have that performance tonight, especially at home, because we owe it to the fans as well. They come out every every time, so it's just it's just a great feeling to 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 be here, have that three points. And uh, we talked about it yesterday. It was like it starts with the feeling, how what you want to have after the game. That's how you should feel doing the time on the pitch. That's what Pablo told us, and it's true. Cause like if you if you think of that spirit, like what you're gonna have after the game in like the locker room, like. People are just laughing, having a great time, like handshakes flying everywhere, a little bit dancing, nice music, you know. We don't, we want to have that. We don't just want to like sit there in silent and like throw shoes away or anything like this, you know. And if you like take that atmosphere and just, it just like gives you the right mood kind of to like jump into that game and be like, hey, I want to give everything I got to end up like this at the end of those 90 minutes. And uh, I feel like the team did a great job at that today. So yeah, really happy. Thank you. It was just asked as well. Um, I want to ask you about the rough patch that you guys had to start the season. Um, kind of take us through what it was like for the team in the locker room and, um, and what your role was in keeping the team together um, to prepare for this win today. Um, that's a good question because 
I'm always young, you know, like I'm not young, but like I'm new to the league kind of as well. So like for me, the the struggle was a little bit because you're facing two challenges at once, you know, because one side is, is the team and the club and the other side is just you, you know, like you have to deal with those losses as well, you know, because I take a lot of pride in, in what I'm doing when I'm out on the pitch. And if I feel like I don't contribute contribute to the team having success I failed personally and then obviously you have the team aspect as well you know like you want to be be a team who's who gets points who stands on the top of the table and fight for playoff spots and all that stuff so um yeah it's it's been a it's been a tough couple of weeks not gonna lie um but I feel like I need to be and that's what I learned out of it it's just like I need to be a better version of that and push that aside because like the game's done you know like if the game's done it should like you can sit down and, and watch over it and analyze what what was wrong but then all the negative thoughts should be set aside and you f really focus on the next part and I feel like we kind of let ourselves down a little bit and just yeah like we're going a little bit too easy on us where this week was just like we have to find a way to drag ourselves out of that hole that we like digged ourselves, you know. So, um, yeah, I feel like next time maybe stay a little bit more positive. Try to try to get the guys around me as well and try and just like lift the spirit a little bit. Um, but yeah, I feel like uh, I've learned a lot of lessons out of all of those couple couple of weeks. No Anyone on Zoom with any questions for Jasper? Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Do you think we won because we had sunshine and practice outside <laughs> yesterday? Yeah. yeah. That's what I told uh, on the radio yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just lightens up your mood, you know?